Today is Thursday, June 20th, and we are in Goshen, Indiana, standing right outside in front of our engineering bay. And the current temperature uh, is 76 degrees. We're just past eight o'clock in the morning, where we're going to do some heat testing on our normal white phylon exterior sidewall and also our full body paint midnight edition. This is gonna be a full day event. I'm really excited to see those results at the end of the day. Uh, and here with me today is, is Levi. We're standing right in front of the engineering bay. Levi, tell us who you are and what you do here at, uh, at Keystone. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Levi Noiserling. I'm a research and development engineer here at Keystone. Um, do a lot of testing and approvals of different materials, products, and appliances for what we put into our units. Awesome. And uh, we, uh, we're trying to give the, the best camping uh, experience or environment, if you will, uh, or more real life uh, environment that we could. So why not park it on black asphalt Absolutely. and try to make it as hot as Worst we possibly case. can, right? Worst case, yeah. And this is a test we're gonna be doing all day. And tell mm -hmm. us, uh, explain the, uh, the test a little bit of what, how often you're doing it and what you're actually doing. Absolutely, so what I'm doing today is we're monitoring the temperatures inside the unit as well as the exterior temperature on our sidewalls every hour. Uh, like I said, we started at 7 a.m. So at 7 a.m. we kicked on our air conditioners. It's actually 80 degrees inside the unit when yeah. we started, just yeah. from the heat we had yesterday. Gotcha. Um, so we're pulling down from a slightly raised temperature and we're gonna let it run throughout the day just like your customer would inside yeah. the campground. Yeah, so this test is for those customers that the darker exterior color is gonna just be way too hot for me. I'll never buy one of those. Well, we got some good stuff to show you. So let's go check that out. Absolutely. Awesome, let's go. Okay, Levi, uh, I wanna show the, the first one, the, the white exterior, but first tell everybody what this is right here. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a thermocouple data logger. Okay. Basically what this does is it records our temperature and we'll be logging through our whole day so we can okay. look at what the temperature is doing throughout the entire course of the day today. Well, I um, just told everybody though that it was 76 degrees, right? Yeah. And we're just after eight o'clock in the morning. So why does this say 89.9 .9 right now? Right, so we're getting such a big heat load off of our asphalt parking lot here that our temperature right at the unit right now is 89 degrees. We did that for a reason, okay? We wanted to showcase uh, you know, a natural environment out there camping, but maybe not on black asphalt, but hey, let's enhance the test a little Absolutely. bit, right? The worst case that we can make it yeah. for testing, the better experience our customers are gonna have out in the field. Perfect, so what is that thing right there? Yeah, so this is uh, basically a point and shoot okay. temperature gun. Yeah. Um, and what we're doing today is we're recording our sidewall temperatures yeah. in conjunction with the data that we're recording inside of the unit. Okay. So we can really get a good comparison of how the exterior sidewall temperature affects our interior temperatures on both of our white phylon unit and our midnight edition cougar. So our midnight edition is probably gonna be hotter on the exterior, right? Absolutely, that right. black sidewall is gonna absorb a lot of the heat that we absorbed from the sun today. So that's a lot of the feedback that we've received uh, from customers saying that the, the, the midnight edition would be hotter and it will be. But we're excited to show you the inside and what the temperature really does with all that extra insulation we have. And tell us a little bit about our sidewall, how it's constructed. Absolutely, so we have a laminated EPS sidewall with a R7 insulation value. And that's really gonna do an excellent job of blocking out the heat that we're gonna absorb from the sun. So go ahead, show us. So right now, just above our baggage door on our white pylon sidewall, we're at just over 90 degrees. Perfect. Awesome. So now if we walk over to the Midnight Edition, we're expecting a higher temperature, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. Well, let's take a look. Okay, same spot. Absolutely. Let's so see what we got. we're gonna take a look at our Midnight okay. Edition. Right now, we are just over 120 degrees, right at 121. All right, so we knew it was gonna be warmer, right? Definitely. Okay, so there it is, the full body paint uh, Cougar, uh, the Midnight Edition is going to have a warmer exterior than the white uh, Phylon. But what I'm really excited to show everybody is the interior sidewall Definitely. on both of them and blow everybody's mind away. Absolutely. Okay? But first, before we do that again, we have light floor plants. They're both 320 RDS Cougars in our full-size lineup. And the air conditioners we have is an 18,000 chill, BTU Chill Q from mm -hmm. Furion in the main AC. And then we also have the 15,000 BTU in the bedroom and bathroom. Correct. So let's go show them the white uh, interior. Let's do it. Okay. All right. All right, Levi, it feels pretty darn good in here. It's yeah. nice. All right, so 
outside you were using the the temperature gun to to shoot the exterior right so yep. inside we're gonna do the same thing but before we do that you got a couple i don't know random poles uh inside of the trailer. tell us about that yeah absolutely so just like we're using on our exterior to measure the ambient temperature we're using a thermocouple data logger okay. and a thermocouple tree. And then you also have that here in the main air, living area and you have it in the bedroom as well. That's correct. Okay, and you set the temperatures at seven o'clock this morning, you set the temperatures of what? Our ACs are set to 60 degree set point, which okay. is the low set point. Okay, perfect. All right, so we told everybody that we're gonna shoot the interior sidewall roughly the same area as the exterior. So let's go ahead yeah, and do that. Take absolutely. The gun, which is gonna be in this area over here. What do we got? So right now, we are at 69.5 degrees on our interior sidewall. Okay, so with all that insulation, even on the white uh, Phylon exterior, uh, you can see that our, our insulation is holding up really, really well. Absolutely, we're 20 degrees less on the inside than we are on the outside. Okay, let's go blow your mind on the full body paint unit. Okay, we're inside of the full body paint. Now, exterior-wise, just to kind of go back to it, we were about 30 degrees difference. I think it was around 90 on the exterior and the white, mm -hmm. and it was about 120 on the full body paint. Yeah, we're right? 30 degrees warmer on the exterior. Okay, and what was that interior wall on the, on the white one? We were at 69 degrees on the inside of the white one. Can't wait to show everybody this. Yeah, absolutely. So right now on our black sidewall, we're at 72 degrees. That's fantastic. And that's just a testament of how unbelievable our uh, insulation is uh, on those sidewalls. Absolutely. Okay, well, here, we're still early in the morning. We've got uh, more data to collect throughout the entire part of the day. And by the way, today's high is 92 degrees and it's gonna feel like 98 degrees uh, by about three o'clock today. So it's gonna be an exciting day. It's gonna be a hot one. Awesome, thanks Levi, appreciate it. It is. Right, this asphalt is pretty hot. It sure is. All right, so just to kind of get us up to speed, all right, now it's 1 o'clock on Thursday, June tw uh, 20th in Goshen, Indiana. Uh, it's 90 degrees outside. It's 90. Feels like 95, but our outside temperature gauge says, right now it says 98. Again, well, that's because we're on this asphalt. Correct, yeah, okay. that asphalt's putting off a lot of heat. The sun is transitioning to the, to the roof now versus mostly the side. Yep. Okay, but here. I, we can show every test that we can possibly want. We can shoot the side again. Absolutely. But really, what does it feel like inside? That's yeah. what everybody wants to know. Let's check it out. Let's check it. Let's go. All right, we're inside and it feels awesome. I really don't want to go back outside to be. Yeah, not I mean, at all. Uh, yeah, I don't, not at all. I don't want to do it at all. Okay, so one of the things that we, we did earlier, we, we took your temperature gun and we, we pointed at the wall. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, or one of the common misconceptions with consumers is, well, the sun's beating down on every side of the trailer, mm -hmm. so every side of the trailer is gonna be hot. Well, that's not the case. Not like, at all. Again, it's one o'clock right now, so the sun is more overhead. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to show everybody, before we get to the inside temperature, I'd like to show everybody shooting yep. in the wall at the same spot what Absolutely. the temperature is right now. So we're sitting at 69. Right now we're at 69. That's fantastic. So it's actually going down. It is, and okay. part of that has to do with when we started this morning, the unit was actually heat soaked. So we had left it overnight and last evening, um, it was really hot out. So there That's was right. a lot of heat stored inside the unit. Because um, we started at 80 degrees. We started at 80 right. degrees inside. Okay. So after an hour, we were starting to pull the interior temperature yeah. down. Still a lot of heat in the walls. We've started to pull that out. So we're starting awesome. to see colder temperatures. Well, let's get to the most important part. What's the temperature in here right now? We have averaged 67 degrees over the last five hours of testing. You gotta take a look at this. This uh, temperature reading right here that says 67.7 .7 degrees right now at one o'clock, June 20th in Goshen, Indiana when it is 100 exterior degrees outside. temperature. It's basically 100 degrees outside. This is fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Absolutely, this so, is a home run. That's right. It's actually gonna get just a little hotter. So we're gonna be back at three o'clock. One more, let's see what it does, but I'm blown away. Yes, sir, absolutely. I love it, man. Thank Perfect. you very much, appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay, we're back. It is three o'clock. Again, I keep saying this, Goshen, Indiana, June 20th. We're yes, out in front of the engineering uh, bay mm -hmm. on black asphalt. It's hot as can be. I think we said, what was it? We it's just hot. checked 95 degrees still outside. It's 95 degrees out 
side right now, our awesome. average during the day today has been 96 yeah. on my hourly checks. What about the inside of this trailer? We're still in the yeah. full body paint right now. What's the, what was the average temperature here? So inside the Cougar Midnight Edition full body paint, um, our average temperature has been 66.8 degrees. And the non-paint was what? And the non-paint unit, the standard build, is 64.2. Wow. All right, so we're just, just over two degrees. Two right? degrees, yeah. All right, so, all right, enough of the averages, though. What was the hottest temperature that sure. you read? Because you're doing this hourly. What was the hottest temperature that you read in the full body paint? Yeah, on my hourly checks in the main living area, our max temperature was 68.8 degrees. Wow, okay. And then the non-paint? In the non-paint non unit, I was at 67.9. We're Let's right go. there. Let's go, right? That's exactly, hey, I, I expect it to be a little bit different, but I mean, that was pretty impressive. That's How really impressed a, were you? Really a test to our build quality. That's Absolutely. exactly right. Well, there was a lot of effort that went in this. Our production team's phenomenal. Paint uh, is, uh, paint shop's phenomenal too. And of course, our engineering bay, uh, and, and guys like Levi doing all these awesome tests. This is only uh, one of many tests that we run here at Keystone and we're very thankful to have them and of course the engineering bay too. So we hope you like the information here. We hope you like the midnight edition and uh, come check us out online at uh, keystonerv.com. Thanks for watching.